What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Teddy Starks and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create thumbnail art in the same style as Darto Doya. If you guys don't know who Darto Doya is, I highly suggest you guys go check out his channel. He's a YouTube um, content creator. He plays Dragon Ball Fighters really heavily. He's up there with Lotus Sakura, JM Crofts, Cloud805, Lord Knight, like all the big dogs. So I, I, if I was you, I'd go check him out. Um, but yeah. Also, if you guys like this video, you guys want to learn like more stuff because like what I'm about to show you guys to me at least is very, very preschool, super, super, super easy, like novice level Photoshop. And like if you guys want that advanced shit, that fucking super advanced shit, holl at me, leave comments in the um in the comment section and like subscribe like all that make sure you like and subscribe help this channel grow and i'll give you guys like whatever you want so yeah um let's get started so basically we're gonna use super saiyan 4 gogeta as the main subject because he's not out yet he's coming to fighters in season three as the last dlc character and i wanted to use him because he's very fresh right now and like he's not on anybody's thumbnails so what we're gonna do is you can either use the mask to paint away the background or you can use the pen tool right here to cut away the background and me personally i i like to use the pen tool pen tool is my best friend in photoshop there's nothing wrong with the mask it's just me i like the precision of the pen tool I'll show you guys in another video what the masking's all about, but for now I'm gonna use the pen tool, so let's cut this out right now. Okay, so we'll cut that out. Then we're going to cut out this area over here. Now keep in mind that while I'm cutting this, I'm not making like the most accurate, even though I love this for its accuracy, just, you know, for this video, I'm not making the most accurate cuts and like being super precision, having super precision, excuse me, um, for my cuts because I just want you guys to get the general idea of what you're supposed to do when you're doing it, so... We'll save that for another video on some advanced tips. So uh, cut that out, cut this little area out right here. Get that out of there. Okay, so now that the background is cut, and I didn't want to use the tail. I, I, I cut the tail out only because it would just, it would block out the, the image that we're trying to use. And the image that we're trying to use is going to be this image right here of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta fighting another, some type of Gogeta. I don't even know what Gogeta that is. But if you know Dato Doya and you know his artwork, he loves to add an actual fight scene clip in the back of his main subject. So we'll select all, copy, put that right there. We're going to convert this to a smart object so that way um, when we stretch it, it doesn't destroy all the pixels. I mean, some of them are going to get destroyed, but it won't destroy all of them at least. So yeah, so we'll do that. And in order to save some of the pixels, what we'll do is we'll come up here. We'll do this. Enter, get that away. So we'll just merge this layer. Now that's gone, so we will fill content aware. Bang, we'll add that out like that. Um, it looks a little funny right here, but ah, fuck it. Get rid of that. All right, fuck it, we'll just stretch it, who cares? So yeah, we'll do that. Get rid of this layer. Duplicate it. The one on the bottom, 
we're going to move it over here so that way this area right here is over here and it looks like you know it's it's all one image and part of the background we'll take both these stick them under our main image we'll move these over here like that but we'll move this one whoops we'll move this one further over here so you can see that little piece right there wait a second why uh oh Dirt. why does this have a mask on it I don't know I did not do that let's put him back right there okay all right now we're cooking so that's basically that so we're gonna give him a stroke now um, well let me do this See, the reason why I'm going to cut him out right now, like this, make a cut, is because if I don't, all, whoops, if I don't do that, all this right here will still be affected by what I'm about to do right now. So we'll delete that, whoops, delete that, put him back. We'll give him a shadow because that's some shit Dr. Doria likes to do. Look at this way because that's what he likes to do. Um, I want to do something that I I normally would do, but I'll show you guys that in another video. And that has to do with playing around with the colors and hue and saturation vibrance making them pop more and all that but i'll show you guys that in a different video i'm just trying to stick to the basics of how he does his so finally well not finally but he likes to come over here and take you know the icons for the ranking system and tell you who or what he fought against for the video so we'll use the the grand priest icon Select it, cut it out, go back to our main canvas, paste it, stretch it just a little bit, put it like that, turn it like this, put it down here. We'll give this a little shadow now. Bang. And basically the last step is he likes to um, we'll use we'll use this font he likes to add a font where he'll put something like he'll put like broken stretch it kind of like this we'll put that like that and what we'll do is we'll come into the effects spot, go to gradient, overlay. This is going to change the colors. This is this is usually like, you know, you have a bunch of different things that you can choose from, color schemes that you can choose from. But genuinely, he usually likes to use the orange and yellow. So we'll do that. We'll give it a stroke. Buff that out just a little bit like that. We're going to give it a white one too, so I'm going to merge a new layer to this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to merge a new layer to this. Really, you're supposed to rasterize the text down, but because I'm merging a layer, you don't have to. I'm going to add another stroke. I'm going to add a white one. Bang. Bring that down to about nine. And there you go. I mean, he doesn't normally use strokes like this or, or at least add the white over the black, but I'm just letting you guys know what you can do, give you guys a couple more options. But yeah, that's basically, you know, one of his uh, thumbnails right there. Um, and like I said, this is very, very, very simple and easy to do. Like I said, a child, a seven-year-old can do it. So like, you know, if it, I mean, if it's hard for you, just keep practicing like you'll eventually learn the program but um yeah 
I hope you guys liked this video. And if you guys did like this video, like, subscribe, help my channel grow. The more you guys help it grow, the more I can give you guys more content. It motivates me and inspires me to make me want to continue and, and just keep going and going, man. And if you guys want that advanced shit, like I said in the beginning, let me know. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I can give you that advanced shit or, or more gameplay or more content in general, whatever y'all want. Just let me know and keep keep the subscribe train rolling and the like train rolling and that's all i can really say so i'm gonna end the video like that and i'll see y'all for the next one